Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy and tell we're back on Paragon once again. I feel super energetic today and we're playing as Sparrow in the gameplay in the background, but that is not the main topic today. Instead, we're talking about the next patch, version 38.3, and some additional factors that will be coming in that patch, like a daily reward system, which is going to reward you some specific rewards, which we'll go throughout this video and talk about every component of that system, because it's pretty interesting. Obviously, the more days you're on, the better stuff you will receive, and that's what you want. We'll explain every component of that that goes alongside with the chest system that we've been talking about for the past couple patches, and now it's actually happening and actually being implemented into the game and also the future of master skins. What's gonna happen with the master challenge? What's gonna happen with the skins in the actual challenge? Is there, are there new stuff in there? We're gonna talk about all that within this video, but before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news. And if you mates haven't turned on notifications yet, you can do so by hitting that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you have the chance to become the first mates on the channel up to date with my amazing Paragon Gaming content and the gaming content that I do bring to this channel. As always, expected here first so without further ado let's get straight into this also mates it's really great to see the family mate stay strong through thick times and i love it it's just the best thing about this channel and also pewpie is one of the best youtubers out there i'm gonna give that a credit He's one of the most amazing YouTubers and I watch him on a daily basis. So let's get back to it. In our version 38.3 update, we are introducing a daily login bonus. Show up to your game and get yourself rewards ranging from boost, coins, to skin variations, and diamond chest. You might notice the hero unlocks are also included on the calendar. Fear not if you're not an existing player, this won't affect you. So it starts off to mention on daily login bonus, followed by boost, coin, skin variations, and diamond chest. The chest system that we've been talking about for ages, we thought it was connected to banners. It looks like it's connected to something else. Let's keep going on. Wait, you tell me that all I have to do is log in and get a thing? Yes, that is correct. And now, as you can see from the visual aspect of the daily login bonus, which is presented within Paragon, some people don't believe it's going to happen. Like this child, for example. It's impossible. They won't be out in this in the next patch. If you just pay attention, there's actually like like a little post on their website talking about these new factors being added into the game in the next patch. I don't believe you though. Jerry, just get the fuck out of here. Gotta hate it when rats start appearing out of nowhere. Enough about that, let's get back on track. You might have also noticed some new colors surrounding the various items in the daily logging calendar. Those are our new rarities. They are as follows. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Additionally, in the incoming update, we've changed the way our random rewards work. With chest, whenever you would have received a random reward, we will now receive a chest, account level up, hero mastery, new daily log in. Over the next few weeks, months, you will see more opportunities to acquire in-game rewards just by logging in and playing Paragon. Keep an eye out for additional blogs in the future when we talk about these new features. Obviously, we're going to talk about these new features when they come out, obviously, in the future as well. Because these are really interesting because some of the rewards you can get are insane. Let's go back to the reward daily login actual visual aspect of it in game and you can see a lot of stuff on here and the color borders around each reward will be represented in a chest system ranging from bronze silver gold and diamond so depending on what reward you get for that daily login when you play one game of paragon on that day you'll receive a reward sometimes the rewards range from car packs coins ca characters itself it seems to be like you're able to unlock heroes this time around which i don't really understand the concept behind that because usually all heroes are free to play unless they've changed the actual currency for heroes i don't know that's kind of interesting as well. Then followed up by the Red Lord Greystone skin, which is like a skin variation for one of the T1 skins for Greystone. So that's cool as well to be able to gain those benefits, but just by logging in and playing the game. So it's pretty much free stuff every day you log in and play. That is bloody amazing, mates. And also the chest that you do get out of the daily reward system seems to have multiple items contained into it. So once you unlock that, you'll be able to get coins, crafting components, and so much more. Depending on the rarity of your chest, I'm guessing it will contain more and high valued items within that chest. And of course, the diamond chest being the best. And now to talk about the future of Hero Mastery, or pretty much the Master Challenge, when you go and purchase it for each of your heroes, and when you're trying to do it. So let's go through the information they presented. Hero Mastery Rewards, as many masters know, unlocking by 75 5,000 reputation or purchasing through 1,300 coins, a hero mastery has an added benefit of automatically granting you the challenge skin for your hero. The challenge skin is unlocked at level 1 and is usable right away. After that, you need to invest time into unlocking each of the subsequent rewards. So that's how it normally works. Let's move on to the next part. One of the mastery rewards coming soon is the specialist skin. That's interesting. What is this specialist skin? This will be another skin variant that you can earn 
as you level up on the path of becoming a master. There will also be another emote that you can get on the journey as well. So you will get a challenger skin, a specialist skin, a new emote, an existing emote, and finally the master skin on your path to master. Ultimately, we want you to have meaningful rewards at each level you earn when you unlock a hero mastery. This accumulates into awesomeness that is the master skin. Obviously, the master skin looks bloody amazing. We all love that. And it's obviously put onto the default skin for that character or that hero that you are playing when you do access the master skin for that hero. We're also looking into other creative ways that you can express your hero mastery and we can't wait to share them when they are a bit more defined, so stay tuned. This sounds bloody amazing. There's some hype here, mates. Obviously, the specialist skin and the new emote. That's pretty cool. I'm hoping the specialist skin is like a different skin, not a default skin, but I'm guessing since it's through the master challenge, it's going to be a default skin variation type of thing and they're going to be calling that as a special skin obviously going to have some bonus effects on it or some type of visual aspect on the actual skin itself it's not going to be a plain default skin variation so that's going to be really interesting to see because obviously that's the way you're building up to the mask skin that has to be something that looks cool midway and special skin could fit that role and mates we've been preaching the idea of having master skin variations that is something i want to see and i'm guessing with the last bit of information that arctic has mentioned within this reddit post it could be a possibility, pretty much the idea of a master skin variation is that any skin that you have or some of the selected skins of each hero could have the potential to showcase your master skin on that or pretty much have a master skin variation of that skin. So pretty much if you're playing Undertow Gideon, but obviously you have the master skin unlock and you want to choose, instead of forcing yourself to make a choice, why not just be able to use the Undertow Gideon skin with the overlap of the master skin textures on that skin? I think that's a great possibility and I'm guessing that is what they're trying to hint out here in the last part. I'm hoping it ends up becoming true. Either way, the master challenges are looking more interesting, more fun and giving more rewards in each level, which is something that everyone wants, especially if they're trying to get that master skin because trying to gain that master skin is one long grind, but being able to gain some other rewards on the way to make it more fun and hyped, that is perfect. So there can be a possibility in the near future when they keep defining the master challenges and make them better and better overall. Then maybe at one point when you reach mastery level 10, it might even advance more than that. So you'll be able to get your master skin at level 10. Then after that, it might be capped at level 15 or level 20 even for mastery level. And once you reach that final goal, you'll be able to get a master skin variation to use in all your skins on that selected hero, which I think is a great possibility and something that could be really fun to work for for anyone that wants to get that mask skin variation, say if they're playing Hawitza and they have the Love Machine skin and they want the mask skin at the same time, they put that on the Love Machine skin and it's like, perfect. So I'm guessing they might do this in the near future and I'm hoping they do because other games have done this in the past. Like Heroes of the Storm, they release 10 levels of mastery. Once you reach level 10, you'll be able to purchase the master skin. Then after that, there was just all these benefits when you go up to level 20. So I'm guessing the exact same thing will happen here and I'm hoping for the best. But mates, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this video. Are you interested in the daily reward system coming to Paragon where pretty much you'll be able to gain free reward just by playing the game every day? That's pretty sick. And also, what do you think about the Master Challenge changes? Do you approve of them? Having a special skin and another emote there because I feel like that's going to bring a lot more variety to those characters. Say if you want to finish the Master Challenge and achieve those goals, you have to get those type of special things. And what do you think about the idea of having Master Skin variations? I've been asking that for a while and I'm guessing that could be a great possibility in the near future and I want it to happen. But leave your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, one thing before we end up this video, the mates that are up to this point of the video, obviously, you guys are the true mates from the family mates. You love my content, you always watch it. And it's great because my videos are always targeted to my audience, to the community that we've made together as the family of mates. And I always keep it real with you guys, I always tell you what's happening if I'm staying up late at night, making multiple videos for you guys to enjoy, followed up by other stuff in my life. I always mention it, no matter what. It's not like I'm obliged to, but I do it because I feel like it just builds up a better connection between all of us, the family mates. Because you guys talk about your experiences, I talk about my experiences, but anything we do on this channel from gaming to real life situations. Some of you guys actually direct message me on Twitter, on YouTube, and then we talk for like one hour. Sometimes problems that you have or even problems that I have at that time, which is really great. And obviously within life, there's going to be people that just hate you for no complete reason. It doesn't make sense. Because majority of the time, they do something even worse, but they still hate you. So yeah, they're just pretty much contradicting themselves, and that happens a lot. Sometimes hateful comments can be supportive criticism, and I'm cool with that. But once it goes overboard and becomes pure abuse, that is 100% a no-no here. And obviously, it's been happening a lot more lately, but that doesn't really matter to me. The one thing that truly matters to me is all the family mates backing each other up, no matter what. That is something great, and it's something I always like to see. And it's been happening lately, and obviously that's really great to see. And I obviously want to see more of that because 
We are our family mates. And that's something I don't want to break at all. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us by smashing that blame like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. And if you mates want to see more Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news and even gaming content in general, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, right, time to go, but don't you worry. We're back very soon. Hey, dads, boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, Epic Games. You must do that mask skin variation. That is a must-do thing. It's going to make everyone super excited. <laughs> and then it feels right. Oh.